Hello and welcome to another past paper review on CI Math Homework. This is going to be a series of videos on CIA Federal Mathematics Paper 3, which is Federal Mechanics, May June 2021, Paper 3 3. I hope you enjoy it, so please stick with me throughout the entire series from question 1 all the way through to 7. So for this first question, we have a lamina, a lamina A, B, C, D, which has or consists of two isolated triangles. And the length of OA as indicated in this diagram is 3A, and the length OC is 6A. So the length BD as given is 16A. So we want to find the distance of the center of mass of this lamina with reference to the line BD, so this line BD. So how far from BD would the center of mass be? So we want a distance perpendicular to BD that would locate our center of mass of this lamina. Now if you look closely, the triangle BDC, this triangle BDC, has the same base length. By base length, I mean the length of BD as the triangle BAD. So these two triangles have the same base length. Now the height of this OC is 6A, the height of this is 3A. Now if you would notice, for any triangle, if you have the base in perpendicular height, you can write the area as. Now this is the area of our triangle then with B being constant and the half also being constant for the two triangles, then the area depends on just the height. And if that's the case, we can conveniently say that the area of this triangle, whose height is 6A, is twice as much as the area of this triangle, DAB, whose height is 3A. So great, let's, let's take a look at how this can fit into our center of mass calculation. Take the mass of the triangle ABD to be M. And if that's the case, since we've already agreed that the area of BCD should be twice as much as that of ABD, just have 2M as a mass of this. And the total mass in this case is going to be 3m. As you can see from your MF19 booklet, the center of mass of a triangular lamina is 2 thirds along the median from the vertex. So for this triangle, the line from C that bisects BD is that median for that particular triangle. And so, Two thirds along this line from the vertex, or one third along this line from the base, would give us a location of the center of mass from our reference point O in this case. So that's just going to be. Now, the center of mass of ABD, which is this triangle, ABD, a small triangle, is going to be also one third from the base along this median. And that would be. Remember, if O is our reference point, then going to the left of that reference point, away from what we assumed as positive earlier, should be negative. So I'm going to have a negative sign here. So one third of negative 3A should give us negative A. The location of center of mass of that entire solid, I'm just going to call that X bar for now. Now let's go ahead and take a moment about the axis BD and then calculate the location of center of mass of our lamina. Now 
And let's simplify this expression and find the value of x bar in terms of a as required. 